Caddis Maximus here. I haven't done many videos of magnetic tool trays. I don't think I even own any of like, the round ones uh, at all, to tell you the truth. Although, I saw this Ultra Steel set at uh, O'Reilly, and to tell you the truth, I thought it was kind of cool. Mainly because it was rectangular. I don't really care for these like pickup tools. I have plenty of those. What in the heck? I like these because they were rectangular. That was the big deal. Much easier to use shapes. I think what has kind of annoyed me a little bit about the... I don't need these hooks. I don't know. These are like magnetic to pickup tools or something. Anyway, some of that packaging. I do complain about packaging because it gets annoying when it's <laughs> difficult to open. Anyway, it, they come with a couple of these weird kind of magnetic hooks. I don't know if you're supposed to actually, you know, hook these on to something. Maybe you could use these to hold up brake calipers. They're not super strong magnets. To tell you the truth, I think it's a little bit of an odd inclusion. Although the set was surprisingly cheap. It was less than 10 bucks. I think it was like 9 bucks or something. I think they should have eliminated those and instead included uh, a long, uh, I guess, a three dot, a two dot, and a one dot tray. But that's why I like these, because they were small, compact trays that actually you can set much easier in a variety of engine bays. Also, longer ones I like better because you can do certain things like keep stuff more organized, keep things like swivel sockets in that portion, keep medium-sized sockets in down here and maybe smaller sockets down the back so it's you can keep bolts and nuts and that type of stuff a little bit more separated the magnetism is okay these are stainless steel trays and i do appreciate that so they don't corrode but the stainless steel uh does shield the magnetism just a little bit they do have rubberized feet so at least it ought to not mar up or scratch surfaces also, it protects the magnets from getting chipped because magnets are ceramic. The one thing that's a little bit odd is they are ring magnets. So they're actually hollows in the middle of these feet. So uh, that will eventually wear. They should have put something in there just to help prevent the bottom from, you know, eventually punching in and opening up. And then you get grit in there. Not such a big deal. Anyway, not a lot else to talk about these things, I guess. They're a little flimsy. At least they did roll over the edges, so they're not too sharp. It's just the fact that they are the non-standard size, I mean, or shape. Usually it's small bowls and large bowls, and the problem I have with the bowls is just, you know, they work just fine, but everything just gets massed right in the middle of the bowl. It's all intermixed and hard to keep separation. And once again, those big round bowls, sometimes they, they're just awkward for getting in the or for using in a variety of places or having something long and thin is much easier to put along a fender well uh, I mean you could you would use these in just any type not just automotive but just any type of machine equipment even tool service and for me these long and rectangular shapes just happen to be more convenient than the large round type ones and so that's what caught my eye not just the fact that they were actually <laughs> pretty cheap to tell you the truth uh, but the fact that they just are rectangular, this is a, for me, it's a pretty big deal. These are going to be far more useful in a variety of situations. I should end up getting the bowl ones just to have those as well. Uh, but once again, I think these are pr pretty neat. And to tell you the truth, I think there should be a lot more shapes. I haven't spent a lot of time looking at magnetic tool trays. There probably are a whole world of shapes and sizes out there. But once again, well, these are the ones that really caught my eye. And actually now that I pause the video and looked. I think these may be the <laughs> first actual intended magnetic trays <laughs> I've ever owned. I should say ones that I haven't done myself. Like here, I've always just done something where I just put a magnet on the bottom of just one of these office, you know, desk organizer bins. And to tell you the truth, doing something like that works absolutely fine, works absolutely perfectly. But I do kind of like having uh, more purpose-built tools, to tell you the truth. And I do, even if there's a soft spot, I do like having the garden magnets. Just because it does prevent them from chipping. That's the biggest deal. And probably one last thing I should say is that these are pretty good. They seem to have just the right amount of magnetism to be able to hold the parts. But I run into some trays where it's like 
They put in rare earth magnets, which is great. They hold super strong. A lot of the problems is they hold too strong and you're fighting with the tray to try to get the, the tools or the bolts out of there. If you have some situation where you have like the broad end where you know more metal mass means more magnetic attraction, where you're trying to pick it up and just like this, uh, but only much worse, you pick up the whole tray when you're trying to just separate one faster. And so it is kind of, I do appreciate that they did find a decent balance here where you have a tray that's, you know, decent enough for picking up most of what you need, but not super duper strong. These will definitely hold parts. Obviously, if you drop them, everything will fly out. But that's one thing that's hard to do is really find the right amount of magnetism so that you're not battling with the tray, getting, you know, whatever ferrous items in and out of it while still being able to have it stick on to whatever surface that you want it to stick on to, stay there, and actually hold on to what you're putting into. So I think they did okay there. Anyway, that's my little review of this Ultra Steel Rectangular <laughs> Magnetic Tray Set. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.